Okay. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to share the damn link. But how can I how can I do this? There we go. Copy. Okay, let me see if we're doing three... No, it looks like we're doing four player. So, as you can see, I'm still hunting Heatran. There we go. Just gonna follow Galar Ed's strategy. Which I have in front of me. So I'm player three, so I should be taking Sand Slash. My computer screen is so bright. Turn this down a notch. So I'm gonna be here very short. I'm gonna be here for 30 to 45 minutes. Oh crap, did I update the uh crap, I think I don't think I updated the um the game. Crap, can I do that last minute? Let me see if I can do that last minute. I kind of forgot about it. Oops, what did I do? I just did something. I don't know what I just did. Let me see. Hey, dude, I can't drink milk. You're the one hosting. No, I didn't. still under Smash. Let me change that real quick. Date. There, hopefully that's a... Uh... Okay. This is weird. Me actually doing this and there's actually people I'm doing it with watching. Oh jeez, I really hope this thing don't crash again. Come on, I paid 20... I, I paid 28 25 for this damn adapter. <laughs> So what day is it today? Today is... what is today? Today is May 18th. This is some nice Smash Ultimate I'm watching. You bet. Hey, we're fighting against Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff just lost its, its, uh, its stock. Game. Don't catch this, just the speed of the process. Oh wait, we're doing 4 player. I was supposed to not catch if I, if we were doing three player. I could have caught that for the chance of a shiny Jigglypuff. Which we have gotten so many of. We haven't gotten any Heatran, but we've gotten several Jigglypuff. So yeah, today's May 18th. It's currently, for me at least, it's currently 10.09 p.m. Now, if you're new here, I always mention the date and time just so, just so I can solidify it forever when this took place. It's a lot easier than me just editing in what day it is. So yeah, like I said, I'm only going to be here for a very short time because a lot of stuff, it's quite a busy night for me. Because right now, for me, it's a Tuesday night. I just got done watching Flash and Superman and Lois. Because that's on during Tuesday nights at the time. So I just got done watching those two shows. And then now I'm here doing this for a very short time. Gonna do a few rounds here. A couple runs. And then right after this. First of all, I'm going to give my computer a break, you know, because I'm going to be streaming this very shortly and playing Valorant tonight, because right after this, I'm playing Valorant with some friends. I 
I swear though, every single time I plan to stream something, my boy looks, like, peers into his crystal ball to see whenever I'm streaming or plan to stream. And he's like, oh, he's planning to stream today? Let me ruin his plans by inviting him to play Valorant. Every single freaking time I plan to play something here, he, he invites me to play Valorant. And I'm not joking, every single time. It's uncanny how precise he is. I don't- I don't know where he got that crystal ball of his. But yo, if I see him, I might- I might snatch it from him, because I could use- I could use a little... foresight into the future myself. Oh right, I didn't even check the audio. Does the audio sound good? I didn't check that yet. But yeah, um... This is the first time I'm doing a shiny hunt, a live shiny hunt, uh, joining someone else's host. In the past, I've just been, uh, it's fine? Okay, that's good. In the past, I've just been doing random paths. You know, it was real funny that one time how clueless I was when I attempted to solo Kyogre, not knowing it was one of the hardest things in this game to shiny hunt. That stream was just filled with failures because I didn't know I didn't know at the time Kyogre was so difficult what the hell did my boy just text me Text me, uh, Jamie Flugelman. What? Is that an actress I'm supposed to, or an actor I'm supposed to know? Or a reference? I don't know what that is, despite me having watched the show. So, you know what I just saw on Twitter right before doing this? It was announced! Not even an hour ago, as of me doing this. But you, you guys know Skyward Sword HD is coming out in two months. You know I'm hyped for that. I, I love Skyward Sword. I am ready for it. I'm going to get the Joy-Cons too. I am hyped for Skyward Sword HD. I just saw on Twitter that they announced we're getting a Skyward Sword Zelda amiibo with the loft wink. Yo, I need it. I must have it. I need two. I must have it displayed with my Skyward Sword Link Amiibo. I must have it! I need more than one. I need to have one open, and I need to have one displayed in box. I need it. It's been a real long time since we got new Amiibos that wasn't Smash. Hey, I'm always happy. LOL, I must have two. I do. I need two of those. It, it looks too good. I used to do that too. Well, at the moment, I'm only going to buy one of each amiibo unless it's a special case, like this one. I only really buy two of the same amiibo if it's really rare, a character I really like, and if it's just too, too beautiful. Like the... Like the, uh, the Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo, that looks so good in the box, and it's a really rare Amiibo. When I, got, when I saw the chance to pick another one up, I immediately went for it. So I leave one displayed in box, because it just, it just looks so good. And now I have one opened. I stop because I don't have any room. I don't have room anymore. I have plenty of room. Money is the issue. I just spent who knows how much money, an ungodly amount of money, in buying 40 Happy Meals to get those Pokemon cards. And now I'm about to waste more money. <laughs> oh, I'm going to burn in hell for this. You're the opposite. <laughs> but yeah, let me think. I bought two gold Mario Amiibos. I, I initially bought one. I saw a Toys R Us. Wait, no. First one I bought was off eBay. 
because I, I bought the silver one at, uh, I think it was Toys R Us. I bought the silver one at Toys R Us, and then I thought, let me pick up the gold one off eBay. So I got, that's my first gold Mario Amiibo. And then at another Toys R Us, later on, I saw the gold Mario, and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to pick this up. I actually haven't opened either of them. I have two Snake Amiibos, because Snake was my first ever main ever in Smash. So of course I had to buy two. One to keep displayed in box and one to open. What other Amiibos do I have double of? I have two Falco ones, but that's because one broke. I have two Link's Awakening Amiibo. No room, but you can afford one. Is it that nice? That must be nice. But yeah, I, I am so excited for Skyward Sword. Have you guys played Skyward Sword? It is a phenomenal game despite the trash uh, controls. And when I say trash controls, it's actually not because of the uh, the typical stuff. Like the motion controls, I'm fine with that. When I play Skyward Sword on my Switch, I would prefer motion control because that's what I that's what I played with. That's what I'm used to. Issue for me with Skyward Sword, I don't know what happened when I played it on my Wii, but I sorta experienced what we now know as Joy-Con Drift back in the day. It was only weird. It, it was only weird. It, it was weird, it was only for my Skyward Sword. Like, my, I was playing the game and Link would just move randomly, my controller would disconnect. I had no idea what was wrong. And it only was with that game. That was my biggest complaint. And it wasn't even anyone's fault, I just don't know what happened. But hopefully, now, that problem is resolved as long as my Joy-Con don't have Joy-Con Drift. But yo, Skyward Sword in HD with actual non-garbage controls as long as my Joy-Con don't have Joy-Con Drift. Yo, I am going to have an excellent experience. I wonder what the... Wait a second. Wait, if we're going to get a, a Skyward Sword Zelda Amiibo, does that mean the game is compatible with Amiibo? What are we going to get? Amber Relics? Wait a second. How would Skyward Sword even work with Amiibo control? Uh, not control. Amiibo uh, compatibility. I think it was leaked a long time ago that it would have Amiibo compatibility. What what the hell are we going to get out of Amiibos? What are we going to get? Bundles of arrows? Deku seeds for the slingshot? Hearts? Boy, what are we going to get? Is it going to spawn butterflies at Sheikah Stones? I love Ballad of the Goddess, by the way. That is such an excellent song. Thanks for hosting this, man. You get you actually get a glimpse of what one of your one of your co-players has. Yo, Milk, if you're still here, you want to see what I have in my game before we start the next one? And yes, I did just use an ordinary Pokeball, because I do for everything. Not shiny. You know what? Let's go into summary. Screw it. That's not shiny. That's not shiny. Nope. No shiny. Damn it. Alright, let's see. Go to Pokemon. So, up front, I have me my shiny Charizard. 
None of these are shiny, by the way. I'm still trying to I'm still trying to get a shiny Decidueye, but no luck. I this is not from Dynamax Adventures. A friend traded me this from the past event. These ones are shiny. All my other shinies are in Pokemon Home because I ran out of space in game. The the Rallets are placeholders. I think I got oops, I think I got this one yesterday. And here's all the legendaries I got shiny so far. It would take me forever to, to show off all these. Well, I actually got this one. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I got I'm glad I got this one. I got this one on footage too. All right, let's continue. It's hot as hell now. Is it hot for anyone else? Cause for me, it's getting really hot. You know what's especially hot when I wake up for work? When I have to go into the car and how hot the car is? My weakness, my kryptonite, is heat. Nam, 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 damn, with a D. Notifications just went off. Don't worry, bud. I'm only here for a short time. Just gonna do a handful of these, uh, these hosts. Then I'm gonna take a small, a very small break. And then we're gonna play Valorant right after. I was gonna stream something else tonight, but you know, uh, homie who's hosting this, this is probably his last night hosting, so this is a good chance for me to, you know, well this is the best chance for me. May as well join while it's the last few runs. So that's why I'm not ho uh, hosting. That's why I'm not streaming something else tonight, because I want to be here and help out with these last few ones. I'll probably stream Breath of the Wild tomorrow night. Yep, I'm gonna be. <laughs> this is a, this is just a heads up. I suck at reading. Yep, I'm going back to build up ore. That's good. Just watch you get it as you build up ore. I could use a nice long break from Dynamax Adventures because I despise this method of shiny hunting. Don't you just love how Game Freak flipped off the entire the entire shiny hunting community? In this game, not only does it take 10 to 15 minutes per legendary encounter, but there's also penalties if you reset for them. Because Game Freak just loved, they, they loved it when they flipped us off. But yeah, I'm probably going to stream Breath of the Wild tomorrow night. It's been a long time in the making. Because last time I tried, it crashed. Because my stupid Ethernet port broke. So I had to spend $28.25 on a USB to Ethernet adapter. Come, uh, Wait, yeah, adapter. I'm just glad it's possible, though. I feel like it's... I feel like the odds suck if you're resetting. I've only gotten lucky with three... Yeah, three legendaries I've gotten shiny from resetting. Let me think. Uh, it was Kyogre and Groudon. That's because I was hosting, and then I got them both shiny, so I had to reset. And... 
when I was hunting Azelf, I found a good solo path. I was gonna reset it two other times before the war penalty and then move on. And then the final time I was gonna reset, I got the shiny. So I've only gotten lucky so many times. Well, actually, no, I've gotten lucky one time being Azelf. Because Kyogre and Groudon, those are my two longest hunts in this game, so I didn't get lucky. Well, yeah, I can use a nice long break from Dynamax Adventure. After I get this Heatran, whenever that be, I'm gonna hunt Reggie Alecki after. I'm probably gonna stream that too. I know it's boring, but that's the point. Shiny hunting live is mostly meant to be for chatting. And if a shiny shows up, even better. So after... Yeah, after Heatran is Reggie Alecki. And then it's Reggie Gigas, because damn you Game Freak for making me go out of order. Hopefully those two take a take not too long, but also not too quick. Because I would like a, I would like me a break from this horrible method of hunting. I wouldn't want them to take too long, but then again I don't want them to show up right away. Well, well, them showing up right away won't wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad. After Reggie Gigas, I would be doing Giratina and Cresselia, which are both solo. Like I can do those on my own. Of course, there is a, is a host for those, which I would gladly join. And then after those two, those two relatively easier ones, I'm doing the Swords of Justice. And of course, those ones, you have to, well, you can only do yourself. Those ones aren't this method of hunting. And I'm assuming all three of those are gonna take quite some time. I actually have no idea how to hunt them. It's not like the Reggies where you do the floor pattern. I, I honestly have no idea how to hunt those. You have to find the footprints and then, some, what, cook curry? I'm not too sure. Well, you can either reset the game for those, or you can... I, I see something like you run away from the encounter, you go into camp, you leave camp, and then they show up again. I need to look into this, but... Well, obviously not right away. When the time comes for me to hunt those, I need to look into it. I'm actually not too sure how to get those. Those are easy, I hope so. Yeah, after, I can't really see that, there's a black background. Yeah, after finding footprints, they always stay at the same spot. Yeah, I know they stay at the same spots. Thing is, I don't know how to re... Wait, reactivate the encounter. Like I said, is it resetting? Is it something I do with opening the camp? Cause that's what I that's what I heard online. Just use the campsite and then they come back. Is it something like I need to get close enough? Is it like an overworld encounter? Okay. Is it like this? So they appear in the overworld. I encounter them. I run away if it's not shiny. I go to. I, do the campsite, I exit campsite and they just spawn back. You just use campsite and then they come back after you leave campsite. Yeah, it's over, bro. Probably, probably still gonna look up a guide just to be safe. I have the, I think I have the basic idea of how to do it, but that's still far in the future. I still have... How many shinies do I have to hunt? Let's see, Reggie, Reggie Lucky, Reggie Gigas, Giratina, Cresselia. I got four more shinies after this before I start those. I am spitting all over my screen. Yo, my boy, the, uh, the, the server we're in on Discord where we're doing this, you know what I never see? in the legendaries tab. I never see anyone post a picture of Reggie Gigas. 
I'm sure people have in the past. At least I hope so. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me take a let me take a quick look. Like, see, let me take a look at those bingo cards. See if anyone's gotten Reggie Gigas. I don't think I've seen any bingo card have it stamped. I'm just scrolling up the first few, and I do not see anyone having Reggie Gigas. Oh, never mind. I see. I see. Uh, Aegon. Wait, Aegon, father of dragons. That guy. He has it. He has uh, Reggie Gigas. His name is Aegon, but I swear his cursive, like his font, really looks like an L. Looks like Legon. It's a lot more investment. Unless you're someone like me, who already has all three of them, and only needs one more. Okay, I already... You know what I was... You know what I'm so pissed off about? You can clearly see I'm hunting everything in Pokedex order. But freaking Game Freak, they just had to make Reggie Alecki and Reggie Dragon. Like, one per game. And also, you needed to hunt Reggie Gigas. So I have to break Pokedex order. Damn you, Game Freak. So I was testing it out. Like maybe I was able to hunt the, new, the two new Reggies to very last. But no, I have to hunt one of them. Because to get the Reggie Gigas encounter, you have to have like all four caught in the same game for Reggie Gigas to spawn. You have to catch the original three and then you have to choose one of the two new ones. You have to catch four of them, and then trade in the one you don't have, and that's how Reggie Giga spawns. So you have to catch the four in-game. Man, that pissed me off so much. Because I was really hoping I could have the original three. I could trade in the other, like, two new ones. But nope. That's why I'm hunting Reggie like after. I mean, hey, I already got... I already got the original three shiny. I just need one more. Reggie Drago doesn't need to be shiny because I already, I already have a normal trade. In. So you know I'm fine with that. But yeah, <laughs> shiny uh, Reggie Drago is gonna be my very last hunt in this game. Well, I can't be this game because in this game I'll be hunting Reggie Lucky. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pay money for the DLC in my Pokemon Sword game just to get a freaking shiny Regieleki. I will do it. I don't want to, but damn it, Game Freak. My dedication meets no bounds. I will get all these shiny. I am a shiny hunter, god damn it. You know, here's a little fun, fun little tidbit. Today... I don't know why, but out of nowhere, I got two shiny Rattatas in Pokemon Go. The Galarian, no wait, not the, the Alolan. Today, out of nowhere, I just got two shiny Alolan Rattatas in Pokemon Go. It's not community day, it was just the, what was it, the hour? Like the hour after 6pm where one single Pokemon spawns a lot more. It doesn't have heightened shiny chances. It just has more spawns. And out of nowhere, I just got two of them shiny. Let's see, it's currently 10.34 PM right now. I'll probably do one more live, but make no mistake. Once I turn this off, I'm gonna keep doing this off, like off screen, off camera. I'll do one more live. Yo, Milk, how's it feel to actually hear my voice? You just see this guy texting on Discord. And now you actually get to hear him ramble. Like, you also have to remember, in reality, I'm just sitting in an empty room talking to myself in front of a computer screen and a microphone.
Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Man, I got class tomorrow morning too. Like, I think tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. I have online class. Uh, well, next semester's already started. Man. Man, I hate college. College sucks. You know, before the pandemic, when I actually had to go in person for every single class in college, it was the worst time of my life. It was the most miserable time in my life. I almost self-deleted. Well, no, I didn't attempt it. I was thinking of it. It wasn't until I truly almost got close to it. Until like, what, two months into the pandemic? Like into the f very first lockdown? Ah, uh, no shiny. Let me see. Anyone else get it, Shiny? Wait, who got Shiny ho -Oh? Wow, Leg... Le wait. Legionist. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yo, homie Legionist got a Shiny ho -Oh. That's what's up. I think I got my shiny ho -Oh, like, January? Let me see. Yeah, January 16th, that's when I got it. Yo, you wanna see something cool? BAM! <laughs> shiny Lugia, uh, January 15th. And then next day, shiny ho -Oh. Well, that's how it happened for me. I also got these three. I'm glad I got these three shiny. I got them done and out the way. That was a nice break. Hunting all three in a row, that was a really nice break away from Dynamax Adventures. Alright, last one live, and then I'm just going to turn this off and keep on doing it on my own. All right, I'm play four this time, so I got to follow a different strategy. I am going to pick, well, you already saw it. I'm going to pick Executor, then I'm going to swap for uh, Jigglypuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, Legionist just got a shiny polo? That's what's up. But yeah, because I have morning in-person learning tomorrow, not in-person, wait, I have morning online class tomorrow, that's it. I have the day off work tomorrow. Yay, I get to sleep in. What the? Aw, oh, man. Well, that's a shame. No, you? <laughs> Bro, why you choose to join right at the end? Maybe I'll do one more, because I just disconnected. Maybe I'll do one more. My computer could really use a break before... Uh, what do I use? Uh, lower speed, lower special defense. Doesn't this thing have, doesn't Cryon, uh, Cryonis, 
Doesn't Cryo Cryo gonna have levitate? So ground moves won't affect it. <laughs> hey, it's Chuck. Tonight was a very short one. So right after I'm playing Valorant with some friends, because I swear our friend, every time he has that damn crystal ball, every time I plan to play something on Twitch, he's always like, "Yo, you wanna do Valorant?" Every single freaking time. Like it's scary how accurate he is, how precise he is to pinpoint. Every single time, every night, I plan to play something live, he's like, yo, Valorant. You should take the Cryogonal. I Then take the Golduck. Okay. At least Golduck I can screech and hopefully these NPCs can do some work. Okay, at least, wait, Milk, since you're the one who's hosting, at least the team should be intact for you. We skipped over Jigglypuff. Did anyone take it? I don't think so. You'll be the one switching to Cryogonal and then to Golduck. So Swampert and who's the other one? I already forgot. Swampert and the other one should stay intact. Like you should still have them on your team since you're the one since you're the one hosting. Sand Slash, that's it. I can't believe I forgot that. You know how I would have designed Dynamax Adventures? I would have chosen so that you could choose which NPC you want swapping. Matter of fact, you know how I would have designed it? I would have designed it that you can bring in your own Pokemon into Dynamax Adventures. Say you're hunting something like Kyogre, one of the hardest ones to hunt. You bring in a full team of electric or grass types. Nah, I'll do this first. You bring in a full team of electric or grass types. And God forbid, if the RNG actually, actually has every single path be something that you're weak against? Well, too bad. I would have much preferred bring in my own Pokemon, not use whatever is available in the path that's randomly generated. What's sad is Game Freak thought this was a good mechanic. This was a good method of hunting. This is awful. I don't, I've never seen anyone online cheer and praise Dynamax Adventures. Be like, yo, this is fantastic. I love this shiny hunting method. Majority of people I see online hate this method. For good reason, too. It sucks. Super slow. RNG. You, like, you, it's not even guaranteed. Like, the sh not getting the shiny is already bad enough. Not for the chance of not even getting the encounter getting the chance to get the shine. I love Dynamax Adventure. It's such a great way to hunt shiny. Then again, you could, you could get very lucky. Like I've gotten lucky enough to get five shinies in one day. Not legendary, just five shinies in one day. But that luck was never replicated. No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do one. I'm going to give my poor laptop a break to cool down before I, uh, before I start doing battle. So this is my last one live, and then I'm just going to continue hunting Heatran on my own, like off screen. Yo, my boy, you want to watch more Invincibles? Maybe not tonight. Well, actually, we could, depending on how late we play battle. Yeah, I 
don't want your laptop to sound like a fan, cool that shit down. Well, too bad. You want me to play Valorant with you guys, you're gonna listen to that fan and like it. Come on, I just spent I just spent who knows how much on 40 Happy Meals. I didn't got no money to afford a new PC. As much as I would like to. <laughs> If you're watching Invincible, may I join? You could ask Raymond. He's the one who's uh, who's uh, uh, sharing it with me. Aw, oh, man, we got one weak link, being the uh, the doubly. I'm only on ep I think I'm only on episode. I finished episode three of Invincible, I think. Or am I on? F or did I finish four? Crap, I forgot. No, I think I finished four. You know, here's a here's a minor spoiler for episode one in case anyone hasn't seen it. But when Omni Man, you know, wait, are you watching? Wait, are you watching on a server? Discord. I'm watching it on Discord. Our friend is sharing his screen. But yeah, when Omni Man, like. Killed the rest of the team. He, he wanted to. He wanted to hear my reaction. I was like, "This has to be training, right? He has to be testing his team for their strength or, and power." And then when he killed Red Rush, I'm like, "Wait, this isn't training. What the hell is he doing?" You know, when I saw the Guardians of the Globe, I had no. I didn't know any of these characters. Like, when I first saw these characters, I was like, this is a Justice League ripoff, and I just lost. Damn it. Oh man, I lost! You know what would make up for it? A shiny. That's clearly not shiny, it would be orange if it was. And that would be darker if it was shiny. No damn shinies here. Another stream without a single shiny. Alright everyone, I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna give my poor poor laptop a break. And then I'm gonna go play Valorant. I'm still gonna shiny hunt. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'll be back to shiny hunt live eventually. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you guys next time for whenever I shiny hunt again. Or just go live again. See ya. Eventually. Well, I'm saying eventually in shiny hunting. I'm probably gonna hunt. Not. Yeah, I'm gonna hunt Breath of the Wild tomorrow. I'll stream Breath of the Wild tomorrow night if anyone wants to watch. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Alright, see ya.